In today's tutorial, you'll learn how to photograph and create this really cool parallax effect, all in Wondershare Filmora Pro. Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wondershare channel, where you can find unlimited inspiration to build your creative future. Today's creative tutorial is inspired by the work of Corum, a videographer that we recently featured on the channel. Make sure to check out that video in the description below. First, we're going to be taking a look at how to shoot this parallax effect, and then we're going to import it into Filmora Pro, and we're going to take it from there. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to get notified every time we share the latest tips, tutorials, and product highlights. All right, let's get into the tutorial. For this effect, you'll want to shoot on a location that has a lot of depth that your subject can pose within. Staircases, furniture, and architecture are all great areas to try this effect out. Now, full disclosure here, I'm not a model, I don't really pose, I, I don't know what faces I'm going to do, maybe like, or like, or maybe even, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. So I'm on my first set here and what we're doing is I've got myself against a backdrop with some depth behind me and there's just some interesting stuff going on in the studio here. Tim over here has his uh, DSLR and what we're doing is uh, he's taking a photo of me and then he's moving left and right while taking the photos, um, kind of like this. And this should give us a good enough uh, parallax to get the effect we want. Maybe. Amazing, <laughs> amazing, perfect, we're done. Now that we've taken our shots, let's import them into Filmora Pro. Once your subject is placed, you'll want to take three or more photos of them. Ideally, you'll want to stay the same distance away from your subject and move a little to the left or right for each photo. Try to keep your subject centered in each photo. This will make things easier later. First, import your photos into Filmora Pro. Once your photos are imported, you'll want to set your project settings by going to File, Project Settings. My example is in landscape orientation, so I'm going to work with 1920 by 1080. But if you're working with a vertical set of photos to post on Instagram, I'd recommend trying something more like 1080 by 1350. Next, I'm going to drag my first photo onto the timeline. I want to shorten it down to two frames long, so I'm going to zoom in and use the slice tool to cut the image two frames in. I'll delete the rest of the clip. Next, I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the photos I've imported. Next, I'll highlight all of these clips, right-click, and under Transform, I'll select either Fit to Frame Width or Fit to Frame Height, whichever one fills the frame with your photo. Now, if I drag the playhead back and forth, I can get a preview of what this is going to look like. What I want to do next is adjust all of these photos so that the subject's head doesn't look like it's moving between photos. To do that, I'll go to each of my clips and adjust the scale and position values in the controls panel so that they line up better. Just make sure that your photos continue to fill the frame. Now I want to make this effect last longer. So I'm going to copy the second last photo and paste it after my current sequence of photos. I'll do the same thing again, but this time for the photo before that. And I'll keep doing this until I'm at the second photo in the sequence. I won't copy and paste the first photo. Rather, I'll highlight all of the photos, copy them, and paste them at the end of the sequence a few times so that I'll have a long string of photos, just like this. Finally, if you want to add a little more style to this effect, you can try adding a photo with a texture or pattern, like this photo of leaves that I have right here. With this clip selected, I'm going to select the Rectangular Mask tool and draw a rectangle just within my frame, like this. In the Controls panel, I'm going to turn off this mask and deselect it. Next, I'm going to take the Pen Mask tool and look for a detail that protrudes into the frame, but doesn't cover it too much, kind of like this leaf over here. I'm going to trace a mask around it like this. To make the edges less harsh, I'll go into this mask's settings and set the feather strength to 3. 
In the controls panel, I'll take my first mask, turn it back on, and click this icon over here to invert it. Now your effect should be complete. Add any music that you want to go along with this effect, and then export the final product. So that was a look at how to pull off this parallax effect. I think this would look great in an Instagram post or maybe in an artistic compilation. Heck, maybe you can even use it as a title card background. The sky's really the limit here. Maybe I should, actually maybe a music video would be really cool. Just a music video that's all parallax shots. Did this inspire you to try something similar out? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.